Right, so what is up guys, SDPZ here, and today I'm going to bring you my first thoughts on watching the reveal trailer and watch the uh, Apple event of the iPhone 11. My first thoughts, whether it is worth uh, what it's classed as, and I'll go through the stats and see whether it's actually a half decent upgrade from the 10, 10R and 10S Max. Uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether it's worth the upgrade. Um, I just want to go through the, the stats and see what my, my give you my first opinions on the phone, on the look of the phone, and how it's going to perform. So let's jump into the iPhone 11 to start. All right, so here you have the iPhone 11. Um, a very good looking phone, actually. Uh, I like the idea of uh, it being like the um, the 10R uh, that you have. This is sort of like that replacement. So if you bought one of them, you're going to regret it because this phone is going to be what you should have bought. You should have waited out and bought one of these. Uh, you've got it in uh, six colorways here. You've got a black, green, yellow, purple, red, and white. Um, all very attractive colors, actually. Um, very nice colors for phones. Um, very appealing to look at. And I imagine very appealing to like, own and hold. So very happy with that. And obviously the dual camera. Um, uh, obviously now like, on the XS uh Max that you had the and even the tens you had the dual camera that was all one sort of thing now it's a separate thing uh, and you've got like a square on the top left of the phone um, on the back of it now rather than just being like the sort of curved rectangle that you had for the light for the uh, camera and the flash before so it's an interesting change um, I quite like it I do I do actually quite like it I feel like that could be quite beneficial for photography reasons um, obviously it being a big upgrade in the camera as you can see so you've got a 12 megapixel on the front and a dual meg 12 megapixel on the back one is a wide and one is an ultra wide lens so you should be able to always capture those amazing photos uh, and, re and always capture them ultra wide photos when you want to just get that little bit more in frame it should be perfect for that uh, same storage um, options as before 64 gig uh, 128 gig and 256 gig uh, the big upgrade being the a13 bionic chip that's now in it that is their new processor um, obviously quicker better much better looking and so on. it's the same right it's, it's a massive upgrade from the last one basically it runs smoother it runs better um, makes your phone feel nicer to use um, so it's, is it? I'm pretty sure it's the same size as a what the XR was. So it literally is the exact same phone. Obviously now running on iOS 13. Um, looks very impressive, um, and uh, obviously gives you that battery life. It, it claims to give you one hour longer than the XR was giving you. So that's always a bonus. Uh, only downside I've seen so far is that the Pro and the Pro Max models come with the fast charge cable in the box and fast charge plug in the box whereas the iPhone 11 doesn't so you're still going to have to go out of your way to buy a fast charge plug even though it is now enabled so fast charge is enabled on the iPhone 11 but you're still going to have to go out and buy like a third party cable because they don't give you one in the box which is a bit of a downer um, it's the only downside I've actually seen to the phone so far because I actually quite like the look of it and quite like the specs on it and starting at £729 in the UK, that's pr it's a very good price, really, for an iPhone. It's not what you expect to see. You all expect your iPhones to be near the £1,000 mark. So it's nice that they're doing sort of, not a budget phone, because it still feels like it's the main the main flagship phone, because it's the iPhone 11. Whereas when you have the XR, it was almost like a side thought phone, and it, it, not sure about it. Whereas this is like the main flagship phone, so you feel like you've got something main, not just like a side note product. Um, it, it looks quality. I think at 729, it's at the right sort of price mark um, for the phone that it is. And I think this phone is going to fly off the shelves and be very, very popular. Uh, I can't see how this will be an unpopular phone. I feel like they're going to the stock will just vanish the second they come out. So I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, hope maybe going to an Apple store and seeing what they're like nearer the time. But hopefully, it's a cool phone. So let's jump on to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Right, so there we go. I have moved myself across the screen a bit. You probably noticed because, as you can see, there's one really long line of text in the description there. So I've literally had to shuffle everything across the, that side, uh, everything across that way, as you're seeing it, actually, um, of the screen so that I can fit it all on. So the iPhone 11 Pro Max are the stats that I have uh, here. I don't have the Pro stats because um, I feel if you're going to buy the Pro, you probably buy the Pro Max because the Pro... 
isn't really worth buying, in my opinion. Because um, if you're going to buy the Pro, you might as well j literally just buy the iPhone 11, save yourself loads of money. Because the upgrade isn't huge, like it's not. Um, but the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which would be the phone that I would go for if I was upgrading. Now, I'm not going to be upgrading because I've recently uh, got a iPhone XS Max here. So I'm not going to be upgrading because I've literally quite recently upgraded to one of those. Um, so in that case, this would be the phone I would go for if I was upgrading. Um, obviously, being the big uh, phone in your hand, the, the larger size phone at 6.5 inches, um, obviously running iOS 13 and that A13 Bionic chip. In this phone you do get larger storage, you can go up to 512 gig, but you can't have the 64 gigs. The first one you get to is 128. Uh, pretty sure that's the same as it is now, but the 512 gig is an upgrade storage. So that's quite cool. Um, if you're going to be using your phone a lot and going to have a lot saved on your phone, that's quite a cool feature to have. Um, five hours longer battery life than an iPhone XS Max. Five hours. Now that is a big thing. Very, very big thing. Um, very. If that's true, and obviously they're, if they're claiming it, I imagine it will be for the first three weeks until they start downgrading your battery again, like Apple love to do. But for the start, that could be amazing. Um, it sounds brilliant. So I'm really hoping that that is true. Uh, this is a slightly heavier phone at 226 grams, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty similar to the weight to the uh, iPhone XS Max that we had beforehand. And on this one, you have the 12 megapixel front camera, and as you can see in the pictures there, you actually have a 12 megapixel camera on the rear, but three of them. You have a wide angle lens, a ultra wide angle lens, and a telephoto lens. So this is going to be a photographer's dream to use. Um, I would love to use this, obviously, for, for YouTube and photography. This is it's literally what I do. Uh, it's what I enjoy doing. Uh, so this would be an amazing thing to have. You've got the triple lenses there on the, um, all separated out uh, on the little square on the top left of the rear of the phone. I actually really like the design. Um, a lot of people have sort of slated this design, but I actually really enjoy how it looks. Um, I like the raised notch on the back uh, with the separated cameras I think it looks really cool shows you that you've got three different lenses rather than not knowing I do really like that and I think the back of the phone just looks very sleek in general uh, they've got gone on of the glass uh, and have now gone back to the normal finishes which are very cool I'm pretty sure you uh, you've got space gray silver gold and a new color uh, it's like a dark green actually it's very very nice it's like a camo sort of green so it's definitely something new to appeal to people if uh, and I'm uh, from what I've seen on YouTube that color is looking like it's going to be quite popular so they've made a good shout on that now obviously you're looking at the price of 1149 pounds so it's an expensive phone but we expect that from Apple it's, it was always going to be an expensive phone it was never going to be cheap if you expected it to be cheap you've never used an Apple product before or watched an Apple keynote or have ever even looked at Apple products in the past because they're always going to be expensive for the, the really big main in your face model. Um, so yeah, it's a big price point but uh, with the upgrades you get over the XS Max it could be worth it. Um, if you have only just upgraded to an XS Max like I have definitely wouldn't bother but if you had an XS Max from when they came out um, and you're about you're right a year through your contract now. I don't see why not. I, don't, I think it'd be worth an upgrade if you're an Apple lover. It's going to be an improved phone with that A13 Bionic chip. It's going to run smoother. It's going to be nicer to use. It's going to be more. It flow nicely. It be. It'll just look nice, and it's going to have an amazing screen on it. The amazing camera on the front and the rear. I believe you can film in 4K video front and rear facing camera, which is something you definitely can't do on the XS Max. I'm pretty sure it only goes up to 1080p on the front camera. So 4K front and back is unreal. That would be amazing for vloggers and uh, just filming in general. So that's a definite plus point from Apple there, and a well done on that one because that that's a big positive. So I think this look is a great looking phone. Um, the stats look good, so hopefully, I, I mean, I can see this one flying off the shelves too. I, I don't see too many downsides to it, apart from maybe the, obviously the, being a very expensive phone. Um, but you come to expect that of Apple, so I don't think that's too big of a downside, especially obviously with this having the fast charge capabilities that um, Android phones that I've had for a while now, and it also gives you an, a fast charging cable and plug in the box um, of the Pro and the Pro Max. 
So that's definitely a plus that you receive those in the box, which is over the 11. So assuming, obviously, if you're getting five hour longer battery and you're getting fast charge, that's a big plus in my books. So uh, fair play to Apple on that one. And yeah, this, this looks a good phone. Right, so that has been my first opinions of seeing the release of the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Max. Let me know what you think in the description, whether, you, whether you're going to bother, up, just in the description, let me know in the comments whether you are going to bother upgrading or whether you're not, or even if you're not going to be upgrading like I'm not, let me know what your thoughts are of the phones, whether, they're, um, whether it's, they are actually an upgrade from the previous phone, whether they're worth what they're going to cost you, and what you think of the new colours, the new chip, the new cameras, what you think of the new design in general. It'll be interesting to see what people think, so leave a comment let me know what you think. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more sort of tech reviews or my opinion when new things come out, let's get five likes on this video. That would be absolutely brilliant, showing your support. Your support has been amazing recently on these videos, and I'm so glad I can keep up this daily streak. Hopefully you're enjoying it, and um, from the messages that I'm getting, I'm gathering that you are really enjoying the daily uploads. So I'm going to try and keep this going as long as I can. Like I said, my aim is a month, so... I think we're about 14 days in now, so we're about halfway through. So hopefully I can push through and do this. Hopefully, hopefully. So that would be really cool. But thank you very much for your support. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and peace.